Hello and welcome to Drag Story Time. I am your host, Marty McGuy. Excited to be with you all again today. Uh, it is our spooky edition. Uh, next Saturday will be Halloween, so we won't be with you for Halloween. So we're going to celebrate it today. So if you're anything like me, you celebrate it all year round. Um, so I am very, very excited for the show we have today. Uh, we have a, oh, we have a lot to do, so I'm going to jump right into it. Um, I'm going to, uh, if you're new to us, uh, I'm a teacher by trade during the day and I love a good old PowerPoint presentation. Uh, so we're gonna start with our PowerPoint introductions. Okay, so welcome to Drag Story Time. This is October 25th, 2020. Uh, we have our wonderful logo here made by Mr. Dr. Eddie Sun, who's a frequent on this show. Um, and I just want you to point out uh, that it does, it's drag, but it's dancing, reading, arts, and games. We are very inclusive here at our story time. So we welcome all sorts of talents. We're gonna be doing different sorts of things today, stories, puppets, songs, so, um, we are a, a, we are all sorts of fun stuff. Um, for those of you who are joining us who are not from Columbia, South Carolina and wondering why I keep saying Harriet Hancock. Harriet Hancock is uh, the name of a actual person here in Columbia, South Carolina. She is a lawyer and her son was gay and she took from that perspective, you know, just some of the injustices that her son was dealing with. And so she decided to do something about it. So she advocated for her son and other people like him. And eventually the center was built called the Harriet Hancock Center. And it is a resource center with uh, all sorts of programs like drag activity time and um, a group for uh, old, elderly, LGBTQ plus, uh, gay ARP. Uh, we have a bi space, a trans support group. And then uh, before COVID, we had a monthly potluck for people to get together and talk because we're in the South and we sure love a potluck. Um, and so that's how we got to know each other. And we have unfortunately had to close uh, our building facility down uh, because of COVID, but we are still a very active presence online. And it's kind of been exciting because, you know, we are just a small town in the South and um, we've been able to make new friends literally internationally um, and across the country all over um, to our center. So they get to know us and, you know, hopefully post COVID, uh, we'll have some new friends that would like to come join us. Um, so introductions. I, like I said, I'm Marty McGuy. I am a drag king and volunteer at the Harriet Hancock Center. Um, some interesting facts about me is I am interested in gardening. I say interested because I just bought two plants and that is the extent of my gardening experience, but it's, I'm going to get better. That's a resolution I have. Uh, lover of rainbows, as you can tell by this picture right here. Uh, Diet Coke enthusiast, usually I have a big old cup of Diet Coke here. Uh, new bread maker, uh, sorry, my jar just went off. A new bread maker and I have a black cat named Gideon who I am representing today. We'll be talking about black cats today. Uh, we are welcoming back the banana band. Um, for, uh, fans of Drag Story Time will be very familiar with the banana band. They are a musical duo of Ben and Anna. That's how they got their name. And they shared some five facts with us today. Um, even though they dress in yellow frequently, uh, their favorite color is green, which also can be the color of a banana. So I still like it. I still like it. Uh, their three main instruments are the guitar, the tambourine, and voice, but they can also play seven more instruments. Um, they have two cats named Billy and Rue, which I love, uh, and currently watching some of their favorite shows, How I Met Your Mother, season five of RuPaul's Drag Race. That's one of my favorites too, Jinx Monsoon all the way. Uh, America's Next Top Model, Fargo, and that's a new show for Ben. I've never seen Fargo, so I'll have to check that one. I've heard it's really good. And then got to share the virtual stage with their favorite drag queen, Nina West for Pride 2020. Uh, Nina West is a great uh, queen for uh, especially family. She has got this great song um, about uh, drag being for everybody and it's super catchy. I think she's got a whole children's album that's just, yeah, she, has, she does have a whole children's album that's great. And then we are welcoming a new friend today. We have Queen Alora joining us. She is the ruler of the kingdom of the fairies. She has a pet bumblebee called Bumble Bee. I think I'm saying that right, Bumblebee. 
I'll have to ask her. Uh, her favorite food is dewdrops, and she has two daughters called Elvine and Avalon, and they are both blue and pink fairies. So we're very welcome, uh, very happy to welcome Kleena Laura to Drag Story Time today, and we'll see her a little bit later. Um, if you're new to Drag Story Time, we do uh, breathing techniques and we do some celebrations and wish wells, and I'm going to take you through that. I always like to do a breathing technique because I think it refocuses us gets us ready to hear the new information we're about to hear and let all the stress of the day go away. So I'm gonna model our technique today and then you're gonna do it three times with me. And because it's spooky season, we're going to do the count, which I know is one of Addie's uh, favorites who's watching at home. So I picked that particular uh, character to share with us today. So if you uh, aren't familiar with the count, the count has that great laugh, ah, 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 when he counts his, uh, items around him. So this is how we're going to do the count. So just like the bats around him, we're going to flutter and you're going to breathe in through your nose. And then when you breathe out, you're going to go, ah, ah, ah. So I'm going to show you how to do it once. Then you're going to do it with me three times. So one, ah, ah, ah. You can really get into it if you want. All right. Now we're going to all do it together three times. Ah, ah, ah. That's really fun to do. Ah, <laughs> oh, ah, oh, ah, uh, three, breathe, three, ah, uh, ah, uh, ahs. One more time. Ah, 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 and I really miss an opportunity to be like, we're going to do it three times. One, two, three, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> so I had to get that in there. Uh, well wishing uh, is something that we do, and a well wish is just, um, we're thinking about you. Uh, again, we are a community center, so we like to, um, talk to each other and, and, and vent to each other and we can't be together. So a wish well is just something that if you feel comfortable to share with us, you can do it anonymously. You can message me or um, what, what have you, but just something that's weighing on your heart and that you would like to send essentially positive vibes out. And how I like to imagine it is I like to take a deep breath and imagine a unicorn is like bursting out of my chest, not like alien style, but like... <laughs> Patronus style and going to that person with positive uh, feelings to kind of comfort them. That's just how I vision it. I, if you vision it a different way, that's totally fine. Uh, so we have two well wishes today. Uh, the queen would like to uh, well wish all the children who have been brave during this pandemic Aww. and sending you lots of fairy wishes and starfish kisses and big warm hugs. And Ben's family, uh, who are seeing some troubled times right now, to our country and the world, we may dig deep through a collective humanity and find happiness together through kindness and empathy. I think those are two wonderful wishes. And if you have one that you, you know, just want to keep to yourself, just kind of say it to yourself and um, just send those uh, active, positive thoughts out to those people. So just put your hand over your heart, do a deep breath and say, we wish you well as you let it out. We wish you well. And if you'd like to share one, you can put it in the comments, which I can't see right now, but I will see later. And we definitely act, we usually have a great comment section uh, to get some good feedback on what we're talking about since we can't physically be with you. Uh, celebrations. So I had a couple of celebrations that I wanted to share. It's Halloween next week and we know it's gonna look a little bit different and you know, it's not gonna be maybe as fun as it usually is, but as long as you are, staying home and staying safe and of course enjoying candy in a safe way uh we're going to wish you a happy halloween week and that we're going to hope that's going to be a little bit better next year but if we sacrifice this one year it's going to be better uh for everybody and uh you can still have fun you can just do it safely but through events like this and there's uh, lots of other events that you can find online um and i also wanted to share you know I think every week we put in wish wells, obviously the country that we're going through right now. And uh, if you're from the States, uh, it's, it's hard. And of course, all over, everyone's dealing with the coronavirus in their own way. And I was like, I, I gotta put some good news in the week. Uh, and so I found this really neat story. And um, it's about a father who has a daughter who's in a wheelchair and they went to a park and she couldn't, it wasn't accessible for her. And it's a problem that we don't really think about until we have a member of, we ourselves are disabled or it happens to somebody we love. And this father is an engineer and a 
playground expert. So he started plans uh, to uh, build a exclusive playground and he had to raise the funds privately because there wasn't any money for the parks department. Um, and so he's included these, he's made these incredible, uh, incredible parks. So I'm just going to show a quick clip from uh, one of his presentations. If you want to learn more information about it, uh, it is called uh, Harper's Playground. And I'm just going to show just a quick clip so you can get a little more information. Oh, maybe. Yes. Playgrounds like this skip a little bit. part of human development. Play helps us imagine, investigate the world, make friends and develop our motor skills. And playgrounds are essential to that journey. But as Cody found out when his daughter was born, not everyone has the same access to play. Just make you even look more beautiful. A little bit extra. When Harper came out, she couldn't breathe on her own. That's really a, where a lot of this begins because it was so frightening. I stood above Harper's face, pleading with her to fight for life and we were told that she had this rare genetic difference and that we should expect she would never walk nor talk in her lifetime. Fast forwarding four years later, she's taking a maiden trip in her little yellow walker to the neighborhood park. And it really is a setup for what happened next, which is that little walker getting stuck in the wood chips that surround typical playgrounds. My wife absolutely said we should do something about that. And that's what started what became Harper's Playground. a way to make it not sound good. <laughs> it's really hard to do. <laughs> Our hill was designed with a spiral walkway so that wheelchairs can actually get some speed going. And what we love seeing is wheelchairs rolling alongside skateboards. The slide has got a double wide on two sides so a caregiver and their child can go together. When you look at these playgrounds, there's an entire philosophy that underpins them. So we call our design principles radically inclusive through three levels of inviting. The space has to be physically inviting. So if you use wheels, you can get absolutely everywhere. Um, and then we say it should be socially inviting, circular seating areas, communal gathering spaces, and the use of nature. And then the third level is what we call emotionally inviting. And that's by using art, good design lines, music, things that put us in an even better emotional state. We feature sea turtles because- uh, But I just wanted to say, that's a very short clip, but I just wanted to show kind of what it looked like. And they finally completed it after I started in 2009 recently. And now that um, other park and rec programs are seeing the how great it is, not just for children with um, dis differing abilities, but for all children. Um, so now I think they're up to like 11 other parks across the country and they have a great website where you can donate and like maybe, you know, propose for your, your town to take one of their plans and they will he teaches classes on for different governments to help build these plans and I think it's such a really neat idea because uh, so many children the playground has such great memories and it should be an experience for all so what a great idea of like seeing the problem and being able to like put it together and using your experience and the people around you so Harper's Playground I would definitely check them out I just found out about them this morning so I love that you learned about these things that don't seem like problems to you um, oh, like nope. Okay, so our our I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So our agenda for today, we're gonna have Queen Queen Laura go first, and then we're gonna have the banana band, and then I'm gonna go. So I'm going to move my computer around so I can see Queen Laura. Uh, I'm gonna ask you, are you there, Queen Laura? Oh, there she is. Okay, perfect. Okay. okay, let me stop sharing my video. Okay, so before <laughs> we get started, uh, we always like to ask you a fun question. Um, Ooh, fun questions. So, exactly. Well, um, first off, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Because you're new to Drag Story Time. So also, that's a celebration. We have a new friend, so we're going to celebrate you. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Um. Oh, what to say, what to say. <laughs> there is many things I can say. First of all, I'm queen of the fairy kingdom we are if you turn left at neverland just by pixie hollow and don't go down to the trolls because they're never 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 hospitable so if you go there then you should find the fairy kingdom just there 
And also it's very, very, very big as well. And we have all different kinds of fairies there. We have woodland fairies, ice fairies, light fairies, animal fairies, you name it, we have it. And it's so much fun to be there. You should come sometime. I can shrink you really, really down very, very small. Ooh, I'm very you excited. Human, all of you humans seem to be very, very big to us. So you can't <laughs> always see us. That's but true. if you make sure you have a look right by down by the bottom of, of big trees, you'll be able to see us as well. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna Maybe. keep I'm gonna be looking. That sounds incredible. Well, I'm so glad that you're able to come and join us today. I'm tickled pink. So um I have a question. So we have Halloween here and we get candy for it. Do you have anything sweet that you eat? Uh a, a special sweet treat that's your favorite? Hmm. Oh, well, I like dew drops. They're always very, very nice. And you get them on the ends of blades of grass. They're so beautiful. They taste so sweet. Um, what else do I like? Oh, the mice spring sugared acorns. That's always nice. They're always a delight to have. And also the spiders make candy cobwebs as well, especially around Halloween. It's always so much fun. Ooh, so now if, if you come over here, we'll have to let you try some of our candy. It's not as pretty, but it is very delicious. Oh, um, I would love to. My... I think you've got something called chocolate. Is that correct? Yes, we do. <laughs> I'd love it's to delicious. try chocolate. We'll have to do it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to let you take over. So I'm going to uh, pop my video away, and I'm going to let you talk to the good folks watching online with us. Fabulous. Fabulous. Well, let's get into it, really. So I thought I'd play a little bit of my music from here. Hello, everybody. I hope that you're all having a splendid day. Now, it is night time here in the fairy kingdom, so we all do need to go to bed very, very soon. But before I will go, I thought maybe I could read you a story. Would you like that? Are you sure? Now, I can't hear you very, very well, so you're going to have to shout through your magic mirror that you've got here that you can see me on. Would you like a story? Fabulous. Okay, so I'm going to read you a special story about how a fairy got her wings. So let me just open up my fairy stories. And I think this is it. Aha. So this story is called Allura, the fairy without wings. Allura was no ordinary fairy. No one knew why, but she had no wings. And that's more, she was a princess. Oh, I love princesses. Daughter of the great fairy queen. She was so tiny, like a flower. Say that again? Yes, life was just a series of problems for her. Not only couldn't she fly, but she hardly had any magical powers. Since fairy magic comes from their delicate crystal wings. Can you see my wings? I'll see if I can turn around so I can show you my wings properly. So from an early age, Allura had depended on the help of others for many things. She grew up thinking people smiling and being friendly was natural. So all the natural creatures in the forest were delighted to help her. But when she reached the age to become queen, many fairies doubted she could be a good queen with such a disability. They argued and protested so much that Allura had to agree to take a test in which she would have to demonstrate to everyone the wonders she could work. The little fairy became extremely sad. What could she do? She was hardly magic at all, and she couldn't even travel far, very far on those little legs of hers. But while Allura sat on a stone next to a river, thinking of ways to try and think of something that would surprise the other fairies, the news of the test was spreading among the fairy-friendly forests. Before long, hundreds of creatures were by her side, ready to help her however she needed. Thank you so much, little friends. I feel much better with you by my side, she said with the sweetest of smiles. But I don't know whether you'll be able to help me. Well, of course we will, answered the squirrel. Tell us what you would like to do to surprise these foolish fairies. Wow, if only I could, I would love to capture the first ray of sunlight that touches the earth and keep it in a dewdrop so that when it was needed, it would be returned and used as a lantern for all those who live in the forest. Or I'd like to paint a rainbow in the night sky under the pale moonlight so that the nocturnal creatures could see its beauty. 
but I don't have any magic or any wings to keep it in. Well, you must keep your magic somewhere else then. Well, look, the old tortoise shouted excitedly as it threw through the air, leaving a trail of green behind it. It was true. When Allura had been telling her friends her deepest wishes, a wave of magic had washed over them. And they were all there, flying through the air, making a magical rainbow and capturing not just one, but hundreds of rays of sunshine in the fine drops of water that filled the sky with tiny brilliant lamps. The whole day and night, you could see the squirrels, the mice, frogs, birds, and fish leaping through the sky, filling it with light and color in a spectacle never seen before that had filled the forest dwellers with delight. Allura was declared queen of the fairies, despite her not knowing from where such a magic, magic had come. And it wasn't until some time later that the young queen understood that she was the first of the great fairies, whose magic had not been found in the wings, but within all of one true friends. And when she got her crown, suddenly something happened. She grew these wings that were big and white and crystal, and they sparkled forevermore. And that, boys and girls, and everybody else watching, is how I became queen. Did you enjoy that? Fabulous, it's my favorite story as well. That one and also how I met my husband as well. But you won't see him very much. He's away somewhere doing something, which is not always fun. So before I go, would you like me to sing a couple of songs for you? You would? Oh, fabulous. Now, I would like to sing a couple of songs that you might know from a very, very good friends of mine. There's one called Cinderella. She always loses her shoes. I'm always finding them in the forest. It's terrible. And also one called Princess Belle. And she lives in this massive big castle. I mean, it's got nothing on mine, of course. But she lives in this hot castle with all of her friends who are seem to be a teacup, a teapot, and a candlestick. Whoever thought that was so preposterous. So we'll start with the first song and I will sing that for you. And I want you to sing back to your magic mirrors as well so we can hear you, okay? A dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. In dreams you will lose your heartache, whatever you wish for you keep. Have faith in your dreams and someday your rainbow will come shining through. No matter how your heart is breathing, if you keep on believing, a dream that you wish will come true. Okay then everybody, I need you to make a massive big wish. Hold on to your wish, close your eyes. And now you need to blow your wishes to the camera. Are you ready? Go! Yes! A dream is a wish your heart makes when you're fast asleep. In dreams you will lose your heartache, whatever you wish for you keep. Have faith in your dreams and someday your rainbow will come shining through. No matter how your heart is grieving, if you keep on believing the dream that you wish will come true. Oh, that was wonderful. Did you enjoy that? Would you like one more before I go? Are you sure? Okay, then, but I need you all to sing along with me, okay? Fabulous. Now I want to hear you through this magic mirror of mine, okay? Good. Are you ready? Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And I want you all to sing along with me. Taylor's oldest time. True as it can be. There 
barely even friends. Then somebody bends unexpectedly. Just a little change. Small to say the least, both a little scared, neither one prepared. Beauty and the beast. Very good. Now even louder. Ever just the same. Ever a surprise. Ever as before. And ever just as sure as the sun will rise. Tale as old as time. Tune as old as song. Bitter, sweet, and strange. Finding you can change. Learning you were wrong. Certain as the sun rising in the east, tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme, beauty and the beast. Now, everybody, all together, are we ready? Tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme, all together. Beauty and the beast. Well, thank you so much for joining me and singing all together. Lots of fairy wishes and starfish kisses to you all. That was that. I'm I'm for clumped over it. That was amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. And I had to get down when you were singing your wonderful song. I had to, I was, I had to get my little fan down here. You, you brought me right, you brought me to the magic kingdom right here. I had to oh, have me wonderful. overwhelmed, have me overwhelmed. It's this great place here. I think you would fit in really, really well there. I oh, think we wow. need to contact them because they need to know about you. That was phenomenal. Thank you so much. That story was wonderful. And I loved your book. <laughs> Thank you. And your Thank voice. you. Yes, that's how I got my wings. I love it. I love it so much. And you had some very lovely uh, comments uh, from our friends uh, that uh, your your spirit and your dress full of sparkles and everyone was just blown away by your voice. Uh, so definitely be sure to check those out because you had too many comments for me to mention about how wonderful you were. Uh, Have but a at fairy book, that's what we call it down here. Fairy book flutter. Fairy book because you have this thing that's called um birds or um twitter that's it twitter, twitter. it sounds lovelier than it is <laughs> it's got a better name the mermaids all have their own one as well what's that one called so they have fish book they have instaclam and they have um clatter like crab <laughs> clatters i love it <laughs> but we don't talk about the mermaids they're over down by on the shore so we keep we keep them there nobody needs Listen. to see the mermaids <laughs> all about the fairies it's very true it's very true well i hope to one day see you uh we'll have to plan a trip post quarantine i don't want to uh ever spread this to uh oh, i hopefully yes. yes we're we're a little bit in lockdown right now but i would definitely and hopefully maybe you one day can visit us we well, I hope that that. I'll be sending lots and lots, lots of fairy magic to try and get rid of this ter terrible curse. We will it's definitely need it. Terrible. But hopefully we can see each other all soon. That is that absolutely i think thankfully for this magic mirror called zoom that we have been able to talk today so uh, hopefully you stay around for us so you can get to meet our next uh our, our next performers who've been very much enjoying you you can't i don't know if you can see them but they have been enjoying it as well just as much as i have oh so, are they humans as well or are they goblins <laughs> i'm pretty sure they're <laughs> Ben, I don't know. Ben's making a face like he might be kind of maybe part. So uh, we'll have to ask him. Thank you so much, Queen. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you very much for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, now we have the Banana Band today. Hey, Banana Band, welcome back to Drag Story Time. Hello. Oh, it jumped at me for a second. It scared me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> You guys were, I, I love, I said it's so hard that we can't be together because we used to have a room full of people reacting. And so for a while, it's just 
us and you know it's so good to see like when i, I we can see everyone's reaction the performers and we were just thoroughly enjoying that <laughs> your face yes. made me laugh i was cracking up yes so, I oh my gosh the a, a dream is a wish your heart makes i, I was I, 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 I was flooded in the eye region <laughs> that song always gets me yeah always uh, gets me i've um, never seen a fairy perform before so that was quite amazing and Alora, thank you so much for letting us all join in on that and also letting us make a wish during yeah. your song. That was amazing. Not every day do you get to get a wish granted by a fairy. I'm just saying. <laughs> Pretty but not every day is drag activity time. So That's true. It's a special Sunday. All right. So same question for you. Well, first off, tell us about your wonderful costumes. Oh, so we wanted to do costumes based on where we're from today because we just moved. So I am... The Statue of Liberty. He's my little flame in my book. Because <laughs> I'm from New York. <laughs> oh, and and I, uh, I'm i from Wallingford, Vermont. It's a small town in southern Vermont. And we have a statue in town called the Boy in the Boot. Um, this is actually a Monsters <laughs> University hat under here, but you couldn't tell. <laughs> I will show the people that what you're referencing while you talk about it. I'll pull it up. Oh, thank you, Marty. Thank yeah. you so much for doing the research here <laughs> and all the legwork um, or the boot work, I guess. <laughs> um, but <laughs> um, the boy in the boot is a. Um, they're all across the United States in a ton of small little towns, even in towns as big as Hershey, Pennsylvania. There are these mysterious statues called the boys in the boots, and they're, they're all holding a leaky uh, boot, a boot filled with water. It's like a fountain. Um, and um, it's sort of mysterious, the origins of this boy, uh, of these boys in boots. So uh, every town has their own story for their own boy. It's, uh, it, it's pretty fun. But here in Wallingford, we're pretty proud of ours. <laughs> and for photo references, I think you did a really good job. Look at, I mean. Oh, I think. They... <laughs> there it is. I love that. I love that. I, and I, I really like the idea, too, of uh, talking about your hometowns because, you know, we're always like, oh, I want to get out of this town. Man. And uh, there's a great line in Into the Woods where it was uh, he comes back. J Jack, spoiler alert. Jack comes down from the, the beanstalk and was like he, like he sees the world that he never thought to explore. And you never know the kind of hidden gems you have in your own hometown. And I, I love that you represented your, your town. And the Statue of Liberty, you said it was? Is that the name of the, I think I've heard of that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The, the Liberty Lady, I guess yeah. she's called, or Lady Liberty, or something. I like that. See, again, I, I, I feel very uncultured. When I first saw you, I was like, is she going to be Miss Congeniality? No. <laughs> I wish. Hey, that, is the, that movie is the height of culture, my friend. Yeah. yeah. It's true. Um, my dream is to be Sandra Bullock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> in every every movie even her worst movies are her best movies yes uh, so i mean we appreciate it so i'm very oh the question i have for you i say i want to ask for her so what i feel like a lot of the questions i ask you when every time you're on it's like a food question but um, you know us marty that's fine. <laughs> what is your favorite like oh my gosh you got to get this halloween candy Mm. Okay, so my favorite. <laughs> <It's ready. laughs> I'm here for it. So I, when it comes to like trick or treating, if there's an option, I always pick the Snickers. But whenever like I can have candy at my house, like for Halloween, it's always Reese's peanut butter cups, which is dangerous. <laughs> Mine have to be, but not the Reese's, but the shapes. Can yeah, a little like the Christmas trees, the oh. pumpkins. Yeah, it's the perfect ratio of chocolate to peanut butter. Yeah, yeah way more peanut butter than chocolate. Yeah. Uh, okay, what about you, Ben? Uh, that's hard. Oh, I, I've been saying during our virtual concerts <laughs> that it's almond joy, but really, if I'm gonna be if I'm gonna be honest with myself, I do love the almond joy, but I, it's always got to be chocolate. But I'm going to say Reese's. Right. <laughs> Said it. <laughs> that, that works because you guys can get it together and just you know. You can Clown down. Like, okay, I think it's just economical that we get the the giant bag. It's just well, it, well, exactly. <laughs> so it works out that way. So I love it. And the almond joy. That's a, a nice choice. Actually, I was just reading last night that like the least popular one, and that was on there. And I was like, well, these people are trash. <laughs> <laughs> Your word's not mine, Marty, but I totally agree. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, I better let other people have their own opinions, but whatever. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop talking about how people are wrong about candy <laughs> and let you guys do what you do best, which is to entertain us with song. Everyone, the banana band. Hey, everybody. It's time for our Halloween music time. Not only time. 
time for Halloween music time. It's time for Halloween party. Hope you guys can come to the monster match with us. But in case you missed it, my name is Beth. And my name's Anna. And together, Anna and we were working in the lab late one night when our eyes beheld an eerie sight. For a monster from a slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, in the mash. he did the monster match. It was a graveyard smash. In the mash. Oh, it caught on in a flash. He did the monster mash from my laboratory in the castle east To the master bedroom where the vampires feast The ghouls all came from their humble souls to Get a joke from my electro He did the monster mash It was a graveyard smash It caught on in a flash He did the monster mash Now everything's cool, drags a part of the band And my monster mash is a hit of the lab for you The living the smash was meant to When you get to the door, tell them banana said you He did the monster mash It was a graveyard smash It caught on in a flash Oh, we did the monster mash with a big finish That one was for Steven. He asked us for that a long time ago before Halloween was even in our minds. He was like, I need the Monster Mash. And, and we Steven and like, we've been you. waiting to do the Monster <laughs> Mash for a while. We love you and we love all of our friends from Drag Story Time or Drag Activity Time. I know, I like the new name. But with all of that music and all of that dancing, I think I want to do a rhythm. Ooh, a ri- But Anna, I'm worked up an appetite. I don't think we have time for rhythm. I want candy. Okay, okay. So we're combine the two. Oh. Okay, we'll sing a song about candy and then also do a rhythm. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, so today's rhythm, we're going to this number. Do you know what number that is? Can you see? It's one, two, three, four, five. We are counting to five with our rhythm today. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Ooh. Can you clap your hands with me? Go one, two, three, four, five. What? Say, okay. Anna, that was a pretty sweet rhythm. It was pretty sweet. I get it because you said candy. So it's oh, candy. I didn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. But before we head to our Halloween story, I think we need to fly to get there. Oh. Yeah. Our, well, our we... book's over there and we're over here, so we got to fly so we gotta over. Fly all the... But what kind of spooky creature flies by night? It's one of my favorite animals. It's a bat. It's bats. A bat. <laughs> Bats. It's bats. We love Halloween. We love Halloween. So we're going to do our little itty bitty bat wings. 
And then we're gonna do our big bat wings too. So let's start with the little itty bitty ones. Ready, can you show me? Fly around. Bitty bitty bat, a bitty bitty bat. Flying around, it's a bitty bitty bat. Bitty bitty bat, a bitty bitty bat. Flying around, it's a bitty bitty bat. I'm flying, I'm flying. Bitty 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 bat. I'm flying, I'm flying. A bitty 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 bat. Alright, now it's time for your big bat wings. All the way up and down, up and down, up and down. I'm a great big bat, a great big bat. Flying around, I'm a great big bat. I'm a great big Halloween spooks got me in that mood for a Halloween story. Ooh, well, you know what? I got just the story. My friends, today we're going to read A Shy Little Monster it's, by our friend Stephanie Lovell. It's a really, really great book, and we made a video for it on our YouTube, so we're going to show you now. Hey, did you guys share the sound on the computer? I'm not sure. That's what we were wearing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know how to do that? Yes. Okay. That happens to me all the time. <laughs> Let me try again. Bada bing, bada bing. Oh, oh, I like it. Every time I need to do a weight transition. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it again. The Shy Little Monster by Stephanie Level from Music for Kiddos and sung to you by the Banana Band. Look, do you see that monster? What color is he? Yeah, he's green, you got it. But what costume is he wearing? He looks like a lobster. That is so funny. <laughs> The shy little monster dressed up as a lobster to get ready for his Halloween spooks. He crouched down so low to the ground to get ready to jump up and yell, Poo! Look at him. Look at him in the He's corner. a nice little guy, but so this cute. Halloween thing isn't quite oh, what he's away. used to. So he took a deep breath, but he could only whisper. Zippity-zappity-flippity-floppity-flippity-boppity-poo. Wait, wait. He said to whisper. Oh. That means to do it quietly. Can you try? Zippity-zappity-flippity-floppity-flippity-boppity-boo. Good job. Look. He has some more friends. Do you see what this one is dressed as? <laughs> yeah, a banana. What else do you see? Yeah, I see the shark too. The shy little monster dressed up as a lobster asked his friends to dress up too. They crouched down so low to the ground to get ready to jump up and yell, boo! 
They waited and waited and waited and waited until more friends came through. Then they took a deep breath and said in a medium voice, Zippity zappity boopity boppity boopity boppity boo. Wait a minute. Didn't he say in a medium voice? You're right. Let's say it a little bit louder. Zippity zappity flippity floppity bippity boppity boo. Good job. The shy little monster dressed up as a lobster had his friends and they all knew what to do. They crouched down so low to the ground to get ready to jump up and yell boo. They waited and waited and waited and waited until my friends came through. Then they took a deep breath and they said in a super loud voice, Zippity zappity flippity floppity bippity boppity boo. Do it again. Zippity zappity flippity floppity bippity boppity boo. Great job. Yay! We hope you guys liked our story. <laughs> Thank you so much for letting us come hang out on Drag Activity Time, Marty. Absolutely. And you could, uh, sorry, I, I thought I was muted, but you heard me go, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> <And> my, <laughs> my husband goes in, you're still on the microphone. I'm like, Ow. Well, that's the kind of feedback we want to hear. Thank you. <laughs> no. right? I mean, uh, I said it worked out, but it was so funny. I was like, uh, and, uh, like last week, the whole camera shut down. Remember when you guys were on when I was doing the snack and like I disappeared. It happened again last week. Oh, no. Uh, CJ was, I was like, he was like, oh, a technical difficulty. I was like, it wouldn't be a traffic activity time without one. But that's part of our, <laughs> part of our charms. <laughs> exactly. That's the fun of performing yeah. live, right? You exactly. never know what's going to happen. <laughs> exactly. All right. Thank you guys so much for always coming back. Uh, you guys have graciously given us a month. You just the whole time you're on. Oh, my mom said she smiled the whole time you were on. <laughs> Aww, thanks, Joyce. <laughs> we love you, Joyce. <laughs> um, so thank you guys for always coming on and volunteering your time because it's a lot of work and we really appreciate it. So. We love spending time with you guys. It's, we it's love the it. highlight of our month. Yep. Yay. Oh, it's the highlight of our series. All right. So we're going to wrap up drag story time today. Um, I am dressed as my cat, Gideon. And I also have another cat um, named Pippin who's going to be joining us here too. Pippin, do you want to say hi? He's a little... He's a little shy at first. Hi. Okay, so Pippin's gonna sit here for a little bit. He's got something to share uh, toward the end of what I want to tell you guys about. Um, so I have a black cat. I have two black cats. I have Pippin and I have Gideon. Um, and did you know that black cats, um, not all cultures believe that black cats are bad luck because they do sometimes get that reputation. Um, and in parts of England, a black cat was given as a wedding present and it was thought to bring good luck to the marriage. And in Scotland, people now believe black cats arrival at the home brings prosperity and good fortune, which is what Gideon did. Gideon just literally walked into our house a year ago. I opened the door, I heard this meowing and he was like, sweet, I'm staying here. So it's brought us good luck this year, uh, us good luck, uh, some pretty good luck over the year. And in Germany, the direction a cat takes when crossing your path determines good luck or bad luck. If it crosses the right to the left, it's good luck. Left to right, uh-oh. <laughs> uh, many people who fish to earn their living believe black cats on a boat brings good luck. And their luck is doubled if they also have one at home. So I say that because unfortunately black cats are usually the least adopted statistically in shelters. Um, and just to kind of uh, also show you just I have pet finder which is our app uh, here and website to find local animals and I have searched black cats uh, within 100 miles of my area and without a doubt they are the majority of cats that need homes and again it's because of that unfortunate negative uh, belief that they bring bad luck and people kind of want the different colored cats but they are such wonderful cats and uh, they actually gained some popularity and some traction when black panther came out uh, but they have dwindled again in numbers and so i just wanted to highlight if you're in the columbia area uh to uh look at pet finder if you're looking for a pet these are all the black cats that are up for adoption so uh jim beam is at the top of the list he's only three miles away from me uh coco over here brett carson some of these names kill me uh so <laughs> i i was tempted by those and i'm not gonna lie just from the face this is mcgee 
<laughs> so, um, you know, consider them. They, like I said, I, um, we got lucky and one happened to cross our pathways. Uh, but I didn't realize until I had a black cat about uh, the, the real sadness that they honestly are the most uh, that have to um, uh, wait for homes the longest. There's a lot of elderly cats uh, that are uh, black. And the page, like, you, you can kind of see here on the side uh when you look for color they are still the dominant uh black, and then the next one is black and white tuxedo cats um and uh so you know just consider them they're such wonderful companions um and uh i you know especially if you're going to look for a pet adopt not shop um it, it means so much to give a home and to help your local animal shelter uh so with that being said piper wanted to share some jokes with you today oh Pi no, i said piper excuse me piper i said i'm so sorry i'm I, I know i know i know your name i know your name i'm so sorry it was just a peanut so um what did you want to share you wanted to share some i don't know some of your jokes can be corny okay okay uh, we will do them we will do them okay so what's your first joke what's your first joke share it with everybody Bye. Marty, Marty. What, what is a black cat favorite color i don't know what is a black cat's favorite color Purple. <laughs> oh my goodness that was a that was that was a good one that was a good one i should have i should have guessed that one Marty, See another one what animals are the best companions uh a pig Meow. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Obviously, obviously. Okay. Not what is it then? Black cat. Oh, I said because said... we are perfect. I obviously should have known that. I literally just talked about that. Of course, you're perfect. I, 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 I got another one. Okay. What What did the black cat have for breakfast? I don't know. What did you have for breakfast today? That's a that's a good one. That's a good one. I like that one. You got any else? What happens if you cross a beautiful black cat with a smelly, stinky skunk? What? What happened? You get a mew pew. A mew pew. Oh, that's a stinker, just like that joke. a good one maybe we can get you a santa claus hat this year that was a good one do you have any more one more one more i'll give you one more i think they want one more um, what, what why do you think beautiful black cats never shave why because nine out of ten cats prefer whiskers <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Well, I'm really glad that you came to stay with us because you have such a good sense of humor and you bring us very good luck. So we're going to say, we're going to have you say happy Halloween to everybody watching Drag Story Time. And we'll see you next time. We'll let everyone say goodbye first, but uh, you have Pippa, you have to go take your nap, right? Okay, it's been a long day. Everyone say bye, Pippin. Okay, Pippin's gonna go to sleep. Uh, <laughs> Bye. Uh, uh, we had some. some Ali said these are cat jokes, not dad jokes. <laughs> <laughs> very, very. Well, I do you like cats? They're very. very... <laughs> oh, oh. oh, are you okay? Colleen, Laura, are you all right? Oh, okay. I think she's okay. Whew. Okay, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I was making sure you're all right. Okay. <laughs> 
Now we're all together. Look at this. I feel like the Brady Bunch. Uh, we're all together. Uh, I just want to thank so much to Queen Allura for joining us and through the Magic Mirror and for the Banana Band for gracing us again with your wonderful presence. Uh, do you guys each have a little goodbye to say? Uh, Laura, you can go first. So long, farewell, and be the same. Goodbye. Oh, that's a great one. Thank you so much. Yep. See you later, humans. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Thank you so much for having us. So long, farewell oh, to you, my friends. Goodbye for now until we meet again. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you guys so much. We'll bye. see you next. Uh, actually, um, I'll we'll post our calendar. We've got some select dates. We're taking some off for the holidays, but we will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye.